that down tilt, not able to land that forward smash. Yep, uh, Raven King was just too far away. And yeah, that's why he went for F smash, because F smash was not going to kill. Okay, a little questionable going all the way out there for the banana peel. You really want to maintain stage control in this matchup, but it worked out. JJ knows what he's doing. Yeah, for sure. JJ is not on PR for no <laughs> reason. But we also have Raven King newly on the PR, uh, number 12, I believe. Yeah, so uh, on the PR, he's top 15. Yeah. No, no, he has definitely made a showing, and this is what I meant by like this rivalry going on, because Raven King has won some sets. JJ has won some sets. Whoa. They both tried to pivot grab, Ooh. but Ike has bigger grab range. Guess that's one thing he's got in this matchup. Yeah, for sure. Uh, great roll. JJ maybe not. If you look at that command grab. Double jab and up there? Yeah, that is a real thing, and I have died to that. Like twice. Up throw to Nair as a kill confirm is very real and very scary. You have to watch out for it. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think Raven King enjoys this as well. Like, maybe doesn't enjoy the sum too much, but just kind of like likes it when he gets that read and it's just like he 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 returns the favor of giving you no options. Yeah, like after all of the being trapped at ledge, it makes the forward smash just that much more satisfying. For sure. But now we kind of see Raven King trying to get back onto the ledge, and that drop into the shield. Yep, he did the the two hits of shield pressure, and then uh, whereas you know he could do something else, he was like, okay, immediately after the second hit, you're gonna go for something and yes. drop your shield, and he totally got him. Yep, for sure. Now. With this adjustment, Raven King's got to kind of figure out how we can really approach in that neutral. I feel like in that game, he kind of just misspaced a couple things, made I a mean, couple good reads. What it comes down to is Raven King had his opportunities to just immediately end JJ's stock, and he was not able to read what JJ was going to do. That yeah. is what it comes down to. Sure. It's just like, can Raven King get the predict right exactly right. what JJ's going to do? And exactly. if he can, he wins. If he can't, he loses. That's how it goes. That's the matchup. Exactly. So let's see game two. Uh, stage pick isn't going to matter a whole lot because, you know, both of these players know, okay, that other character has that one stage they really like. Let's not let it go there. And all the other right. stages are somewhat awash. I mean, this does benefit Raven King quite a bit. Makes it a bit easier to get those reads he needs to get, but... Yeah, for sure. You still got to get him. And as well, it does help him recover with the side B potential and some mix-ups as well. And you can uh, mix up JJ in the sense that he's side being, maybe going on platform, maybe going to the ledge, and it kind of leaves JJ in a loop. JJ starting off strong here, already at 63 on Raven King. So good. Back here, barely clipping that top platform. All right. Ooh, and the up throw banana in the back here to get Raven King off stage. And this is what I'm talking about, just that suffocation that Raven King just feels like he has no options. Ooh. Ooh, trying to go from the outside. Not even quite land it though. He tried to double power shield the back guys. That's funny. Alright, here comes that read in with Rage Ike. This could be pretty deadly pretty quick. Oh. There, oh. forward air. Alright, Raven King's got the momentum, now he just needs to keep it, but that's the issue, JJ. <laughs> yep. Easily able to get up back on that stage. You get down tilted by Diddy Kong, once you're beyond that percent, you're beyond you saving. Did you air gimp him? Are you serious? The tail barely clipping Raven King, not able to really get a punish off of that. And now, I actually see JJ off stage again. Oh, twice JJ is just... Like, they've both had excellent spacing where JJ's just far enough to not get the punish, but Raven King is just far enough to not get hit. Oh, side be again on the platform. Yeah, there's not much I can do to that because if you think you're going to get command grab, generally your best option is just like spot a dodge. fast. Yeah, either a spot dodge or like a fast hitbox, but right. Ike doesn't have any fast Yeah, yeah Ike, Ike is pure power. Like. He is a semi truck. He's slow, but he's tanky. Ooh, turns off the damage smash, but he's not able to quite get that. And that's actually going to cost him. Yeah, I think what, what happened there was uh, Raven King did the tomahawk and tried to bait JJ into doing a spot dodge or a roll to avoid the grab from the tomahawk. And he did the up smash that would have covered yeah. JJ's defensive option other than roll to the left. But 
Then JJ was like, no, you're not going to grab me. You're not even facing the right way. Exactly. And so the uh, smash did not work. So unfortunate way to end that. But Raven King right back at it on Battlefield, getting that Wispy Woods out of there. Yep. Yeah. Maybe with the stage change, you got, you know, different blast zones to kind of work with. Just kind of see how this goes. I think he realized, like, because the different, the biggest difference between Battlefield and Dreamland is that Battlefield has a higher ceiling. So I think he realized he was like dying to down tilt confirms in the percentages where you would survive on Battlefield, but you die on Dreamland. So he's like, okay, it's not really worthwhile to increase my kill power because Jade is getting more out of it. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's definitely one of those like weird kind of matchups where you want the raise, but not enough to where Jade can. Completely get one down tail and you're done. Which is, it's kind of, it's, it's high percent for Ike, but it's not too hard to get there. Oh, the down tail catching it into the down air, not able to fight it, get the spike hitbox though. Yeah, I think he predicted the air dodge correctly, but not so much the timing. Oh, and JJ was going for an air dodge read and up smash. Uh, but yeah, JJ was able to jump and get hit by the sour spot of down air. And then, of course, preserving that stock, allowing him to take first stock instead. Oh, going for an air dodge read. All right, up throw down there, oh. not able to quite land, and a back here is going to be able to punish that. I think that here was good DI. Yeah. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't actually go for the command grab there. Yep, uh, I don't think that was guaranteed, but it was a 50-50, and JJ did not air dodge. Go for a jab, drop down in air. Very like that option. Pretty safe, and left JJ for kind of questioning what to do. Man, I know Raven King wants the footstool combo out of down throw, but it's just, I don't know if it oh. doesn't work on Diddy or if it's just JJ knows to not get it by it. Yeah, for sure. Now here we got the space game coming out from Raven King. Trying to space out his tilt, but unfortunately, JJ Rockets again with that pressure, but a forward here to dash attack. Gonna lead him off stage, down air still off stage. Now he's gotta space. get around it, okay. I was half expecting him to go like a sit for a. <gasps> oh, yep. it is! The golf swing! Tiger Woods coming out. 50% uh, still on his last dog. Definitely a good clutch coming up from Aiden King, but now he has to do that two more times, get a reverse Rio, able to get in the grand finals. And also, he's going to have to do it on not Battlefield. Which exactly. It's all that JJ's is his favorite stage. Picks. All JJ's counter picks from here on out. So he's definitely going to have to a huge hill climb to get in, get in the grand finals. JJ doesn't have any fantastic counter picks other than FD, so if Raven King bans FD, all he's got is like Smash Pillar, Town and City, which is kind of scary. But yep. as we established going into game three, I think JJ is getting more out of smaller blast zones than Raven King is, because a lot of the options Raven King is getting to kill with reeds would kill regardless, like we saw that up Smash yeah, to finish out sure. the game. Whereas JJ Rockets was getting those like perfect percentage, like, all right, this is just enough to kill you down to love smashes yep. on Dreamland. So yeah, I couldn't understand why he'd go Town and City, especially with an extra game to lose. If this doesn't work out for him, he can always pick Smashville instead. Yeah, for sure. And Smashville, then for being that neutral stage, can still utilize that platform as well. But we will see if that comes to that point. We got the uh, changing tri flats into the double platforms. Might benefit both players, we'll just kind of see. Okay, nice edge cancel on that side B. If that hadn't happened, he would have definitely gotten aired and that would have led into a lot. Oh, great shield. Not from Raven King. A lot of shield from JJ, but still stay confident. All right, Raven King is starting to win on neutral down with like wow. down tilts and just spacing really well. I think he's kind of got JJ's number, at least in neutral. Looks like JJ's gonna have to really rely on his punish game to seal the deal. Which yeah, you sure. definitely can do. There's definitely a different uh, kind of pace we're going at with this uh, game four. Um, just because Raven King is starting to really show his potential right here. <laughs> He's Red not Hawk. recovering low. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I know, screw that. Getting that banana out of there without smash, maybe not the uh Wait, he wanted to do that, but covers the landing and it's not gonna kill because Raven King was far enough away. But it is gonna put him in disadvantage, which is scary. And Raven King is threatening that back air. It's very, very fast and very, very powerful. For sure, definitely a kill percent, especially with rage like this. <laughs> wow, and he got some of the pummel damage off of that too. That was nasty, but oh! Oh, boy, reaching right there, very interesting. And now it's gonna come down to the edge guard, tries to go for the back air, not quite get it, up Ooh. tilt, still whiffing. Oh, nice DI on that down tilt, he knew it was coming. Oh! 
the double back air. He wasn't ready for the second one. He thought JJ was going to tomahawk that last part. Lands back on the stage. Maybe JJ wasn't yep. that, but... He even got throw. the power shield, and it's Ooh. not enough. Ike just doesn't have a fast enough option to contend with banana throw in the grab. Yeah, for sure. I think it's definitely hard when Ike has to deal with that banana pressure into a potential 50-50 down tilt or grab. But all he needs is one more kill confirm, and JJ stock is done. Jody is the side beat getting out of danger right there. Uh, still is going to find his way in, though. And oh. there it is. That grab might do it. Forward air. JJ that is gone. That looked guaranteed. That looked like it was the perfect percentage. Oh, roll unfortunate. JJ reading that right there. Actually, more so reaction, not really reading. Oh, and another power shield coming out from Raven King. Oh! He wants All to right. end it right Ra here. Raven King. Raven King with the advantage right now, but goes off stage and loses that whole state. And now he has to work his way back up. He can't. Oh, another power shield and a jab. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect grab. Tries okay, to go doesn't for the get air. the air dodge read, and now JJ has an opportunity. JJ with the return favorite favorite grab. Oh, it's dead zoned. Oh, and the card's no, no, no. not able to get it. JJ playing a very smart, using the jump. Able to get out of that situation. And then but Raven here's up to Crazy two. Mash. That would have definitely done the game. Whoa, oh, cuts Porter. through the banana peel. This is scary. Definitely with JJ trying to come right here. Comes the pivot grab. Tries to go for the up air. And yes, he the air dodge. the air dodge read. Game number five. Oh, boy. Wow, this is what I'm talking about. Raven King Clutch is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. By Chicago Land. Okay, so Raven King has a bit of the download at this point, but JJ definitely has one last game where he can make counter adaptations. And do not forget that this is Diddy Kong Ike. Yeah, for sure. It is anyone's game at this point. Yeah. We are likely going to see the Smashville, Smashville counter. Yeah, yep. yeah. Exactly That's what I was saying. What said. Exactly what you said. Counter doesn't work, work out. Just go to Smashville. Exactly, dude. One, All right. Go. This is the last five. game. Who's going to grand finals to face off against Dan the Mario Man? Okay, yeah, using the banana peel to create some extra shield pressure so he can get back down safely. Very smart use by JJ. I definitely like how JJ is not immediately going for the banana when he throws it out. Not a lot of situations where he does that. And it definitely adds to the pressure there, just the intimidation. Oh. Wow, that move oh, is so dash slow. Attack. You try to like get ready for it and then you just do Fair? your defensive option. And then it just hits you later than you expect. Oh, that move does not have a lot of landing lag, and he gets rid of the banana peel in the process. I just like, I like how Raven King is moving right now. We kind of see that adjustment from game one now to game five, that Raven King is adjusting to where JJ wants him, and it's certainly working out for him a lot. All right, a lot of damage, but it is going to stale the forward smash. Although with this percentage, even a stale forward smash is certainly going to do it at ledge. No, for sure, going to use that platform to kind of mix the JJ up, but... Definitely doesn't face him. He uses the banana to try and Ooh. pressure him. Okay, so Raven King was Ooh. ready for the side this beat. This might be it? Nope. Doesn't get the 50-50. Tries to go for the back air, but JJ rolling out a dangerous way. All right, finally. He uses it to counter uh, approaches now. He's using the side beat in different ways. Wow. Cancel the uh, neutral beat instead of banana throw. Oh. Yes, good gets the read. tech chase. All right, and JJ is looking good, but... All Raven King needs is a good confirm, and it's back to even. However, with this pressure coming out from JJ Rockets, it's going to be very hard for him, uh, for Raven King to try and get back up, but a backer is going to actually do it. Smash the platform coming in. JJ sa gets saved. Ooh. Chilling back. Oh, not able to land that pivot grab, though. Oh. Smash again, not able to try. Yeah, JJ's micro spacing is getting him right outside the pivot grab radius. Yeah, for sure. It tries to side me on the platform. He sees the forward air. Interesting trajectory. Oh. The auto banana, way, way to go to cover that That was option. just a ridiculous recovery on all fronts from JJ. And, now and again, just, oh, oh no. no. Got to do one every set. One set, one, one at a time a set, one time a set. But unfortunately for JJ, that might actually cost him his ticket to the grand final. He was looking super clean. Oh, it's not over yet, though. All JJ needs to do is keep his composure for these last couple moments of the game. For sure. Never let all of them face him. Keep his neutral very clean and let the Raven King feel that he is suffocating, but with quick jabs. A lot of the times comeback. in a game five situation like this, especially as an Ike player, you'll you'll have like notes. You'll be you'll have conditioning that lets you get your one last read you need to seal off the game. But he might have already shown his hand getting the two games needed to force a game five. 
And now JJ just needs one last ledge oh, trap. For, uh, up throw? It's an up air. Confirmed. The DI mix up. And JJ wow. is moving on to grand finals. What a comeback from JJ. Oh. Coming back from that SD. Uh, still had a lot of percent on Raven King. Didn't really need to do too much in order to get that kill. However, he did keep his competitor, like you said, and was able to clutch that out. Now fights Dan in grand finals. Oh. All right. So yeah, have we seen Dan versus JJ yet? I don't think so. No, they were on opposite sides of the winner's bracket. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, because uh, Raven King knocked out. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. JJ. But of course, we 